Hello and welcome. Let's look at an application of simple interest. Here we're asked to separate the principal and interest portions on a loan that was paid in full after 147 days at 8.88%. The first thing we can do is pull out the information that we're given. Let's just follow the second sentence in order and sequence and see what we come up with. First up is principal. Now they don't give us a value, so we're going to find that. So what we can do is we can give it a variable. And in simple interest, principal is given by the letter P, capital P. And we'll put a question mark there because we don't know what that's going to be. We're going to work it out. Next up is interest. And again, they don't give us a value. They want us to find that. So we'll give it a variable and capital I for simple interest. And we don't know what that value is. We'll give it a question mark. Next up is our payment value, and that would be the maturity value. And in simple interest, maturity value is given by the letter S, and we can write that down, that the amount, $24,159.18. Next up, we have the number of days, so that would be our time. So we can say T is equal to 147 days. And finally, we have the rate. 8.88%. So we can give that the letter R, and that's going to be 8.88%. Okay, now let's apply what we know about simple interest. We know that the maturity value, S, is going to equal the principal plus the interest. We have a value for S that we can substitute, but we don't have values for P and I, and we can't solve an equation with two unknowns. Well, what else do we know? In simple interest, we also know that the interest is equal to P times R times T. So we can replace I here with PRT. So S equals P plus PRT. Now we have a value for S, a value for R, and a value for T, and we can solve for P. Now here we could factor out the P, but we don't have to, so we'll leave it for now. Okay, let's substitute our values. S is $24,159.18 equals P we don't know, plus P. For R, we need to uh, remove the percent, so how do we do that? Well, to get rid of a percent, you divide by 100%. And when you do that, what you're doing really is moving the decimal two places to the left. So this would become decimal 0888. And we can substitute that in here. And I'm going to use brackets for multiplication here. For time, we see that it's given in days. The problem with that is our rate is per annum or per year. And we have to make sure that our time and our rate are expressed in the same time period. So we have to convert days into years. We do that by dividing by 365, because there's 365 days in a year. And our days then become years. And we can substitute that in here. 147 divided by 365. Okay, we're now ready to solve this equation. And bed mass tells us we've got to do the multiplication and division before we do the addition. So let's do 0 0.0888 times 147 divided by 365. Or if you like, you could do 147 divided by 365, then multiply by 0 0.0888. That would give us 0 0.035763. 287. Again, we're keeping all the decimal digits for accuracy. Next, we can add our p's together because these are like terms. We really have a 1p here plus this 0 0.03 etc. p, so together that would equal 1.035763287p equal to our $24,159.18. Next, we divide both sides by this number, 1.035, so we can just get the single P by itself. And these would cancel, and P would end up equaling 23,325 dollars 
decimal and they have 0, 0, 1, 2, 8. Now with money, we only ever go to two decimal digits, dollars and cents. So if I was to round this to two decimal digits, it would just be, uh, would be no cents actually. So I can actually eliminate the decimal portion. It won't affect our answer here at all. So we just have the answer being $23,325 is our principal portion. So P, we can replace P here with our 23,000. $325. So the last thing to do is find I. Well, we can look to our original equation here. S equals P plus I. We have a value for S, we have a value for P, and we can solve now for I. Okay, maturity value is equal to principal plus interest. So $24,159.18 equals our principal, 23325 plus interest. To isolate I, we subtract 23325 from both sides. And when we do that, I ends up being $834.18. And so now we have all our values calculated. And for I, we can put in $834.18. And there we go. We figured out the principal and the interest portions on our loan. Thanks for watching.